Next on Cairo 7 at noon, new developments in the coronavirus crisis in Washington as cases mount Governor Inslee is laying out new rules for long-term care centers. Plus, the airline industry is feeling the fallout from worries over coronavirus. The flights getting the help that they could help would be on the way for the Trump administration. We're looking at a lot of clouds this afternoon, especially the farther north you are. And yes, some showers are popping up on the radar. I'm working on where else you can see some showers. And you know what? Maybe even a little bit of sunshine coming up. And it's the presidential primary day in Washington in all six states. They are up for grabs today. The two frontrunners hit the campaign trail. I'm Trace Leong, and Hour of News at Noon is just seconds away. Live, local, in-depth, Cairo 7 News at Noon starts now. Now at noon, new developments in the coronavirus emergency. This is a look at all the counties with cases, and we are now up to nearly 180 cases, and the state tells us 22 deaths. And Overlake Hospital in Bellevue reported another death to possibly add to the total. This is long-term care centers will have new rules to control the spread of the coronavirus. Governor Jay Inslee laid out new measures this morning. Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller, she laid out the plan. She broke it down. This is what she had to say, reporting back from what the governor said. The coronavirus epidemic has claimed 23 lives in Washington state. And here's Shelby with the latest. The coronavirus epidemic has claimed 23 lives in Washington state. The virus is spreading fast. 162 people have tested positive for COVID-19. But Governor Jay Inslee believes the real number infected is much higher. The number I use is about 1,000, and it could be a lot more than that, frankly. He says that number could double in a week and then double again and again if steps aren't taken now to stop the spread. And if you do the math, it gets very disturbing. He's focusing his attention on nursing homes and assisted living facilities, like Life Care Center of Kirkland, where at least 19 patients have died. From now on, residents can only have one visitor a day. That person must be an adult, and the visit must happen in the patient's room. All visitors must be screened for coronavirus before entering the building. Visitors must show ID and sign into a log, which will be kept for 30 days. Workers will be screened at the start of every shift, and people isolated or quarantined need to be kept in their rooms away from others. Probably 80% of the people who have this virus will only have mild symptoms, but we know that this is a fatal disease all too frequently for those uh, particularly of age and those who have chronic conditions. Which is the concern at Life Care Center of Kirkland. 31 patients still living there have tested positive for COVID-19. Bridget Parko's mother is among them. It's been horrible, but um, even though she tested positive, 